500 seats. And it remained 500 seats until after Teresa took over in 1947 solely. And she was talking a few years later to her insurance man. And she was talk complaining about a huge increase in the insurance. And he said, well, you are in the category, Teresa, of 500 to 1,000 seats. And so that's why you're paying that. And she said, you mean if I had less than that, it would be less? Oh, markedly less. It's about 40% less if you are under 500. She said, okay, well, let me think about this. And so Teresa got the toolbox. She went downstairs to the theater. She undid the screws and everything else. I think she had a little help from her sister, but, uh, and took the seat out and went back, called the insurance man and said, we now have 499 seats. Her insurance went down and it remained that way. Actually, there were only 498 that were usable because someone got stuck in a seat and we had to cut the side off of it to get them out. He made a, a trip up to Concord to see Teresa in his big stretch car. They pulled up in front, uh, went inside. Teresa was very gracious. He told her to have a seat, and he stood over her, poking her in the chest, saying, you women need to know your place. It's fine to sell tickets. It's fine to, you know, sell popcorn. But you don't belong in this business. He said, I'm going to put you out of business and I'm going to dispose of, you know, this theater and left. It just made her more determined than ever to continue to get the best pictures. Now, the motion picture that shows what America's all-time number one bestseller first put into words. Teresa would come downstairs at six, make fresh popcorn, um, and get everything set up. Uh, usually the show started at 6.30, the doors opened at 6.10. And in the early days, it was 6.30 and 8.30, because people in Concord wanted to be home in bed by 10.30. <laughs> Until she meets an extraordinary individual named Andre. Lost his mommy. Who opens her eyes? When I grow up, you and me can travel around the world. She couldn't get another picture. I mean, there just was nothing available. And I think by the end of that year, she just sort of gave up that anything was going to happen. The girl of my dreams is the sweetest girl of all. Theater. No, that's all gone by. Right. Uh, vanishing, rated R, seven and nine with Kiefer Sutherland. Right. Okay. In the afterglow. It was always the same customers. They they didn't care what they were walking in. They just walked in. They ju years ago people didn't didn't care what you were playing, they just walked in. They, they used to go to the Capitol, they used to come here, and they used to go and see the star. They used to go and see all the pictures in the city. And the moonlight beams on the girl of my dreams. She's the sweetheart of Sigma Chi. And we had the year prior approved the capital campaign and we were going to do a second venue in the capital center for the arts so when i started uh, on staff that's what we were gearing up to do the money was being raised uh, for act three scene one and we were going to convert the kitchen in the capital center for the arts into our second venue i got a call from steve dupree the developer here in concord who said to me 
I think you should come down and look at the Concord Theater. It looks like the Asnai family is ready to sell, and I think it would make a much better second space for you. Are you willing to come down and take a look? As you might imagine, there was uh, a lot of dust and debris and uh, uh, being very careful where you walked so that you didn't fall through anything or st step on something that would have been bad. I could see the vision of, what, of how we could make it work. All these internal walls will be gone, so this whole space will be opened up, which would be great. And then we're going to have a little, little stage in the front corner. Well, it's pretty disgusting over here. And once you're over here, there's so much pigeon poop in the air, you kind of smell like a pigeon for the rest of the day. And even after I take a shower, you still smell it in your lungs. That's the new kitchen and concession area. And although we're three feet, almost four feet below uh, grade, uh, this will be raised up and we'll have new concrete uh, slab poured in here. The big surprises were the amount of structural work that actually had to be done to keep the building intact for the future. We are generating electricity on the roof. The anticipation is that uh, 90 to 100% of our power needs in the building on an annual basis will be generated uh, directly from the solar panels on, on the roof. Two, one.